when you create a multi valued field where the values are retrieved from another table all the records in the table show up in the list for example the assigned to multi valued field gets its values from employees table all the records in the employees table are displayed in the list you can filter the values to display only engineers and senior engineers when you use the lookup wizard the lookup field properties are automatically set open the table in design view click on assign to in field properties click on lookup tab row source is the sql statement used to get the display values from the source table click on the three dots to modify the query query builder opens modify the query as you need enter the criteria engineer or senior engineer in the criteria run the query and verify the results close the query builder to close the query builder without changing the original sql statement click on no to change the row source sql statement to the modified query click on s yes. save the table open the table projects click in the assign to field only engineers and senior engineers are listed add a few projects assign engineers and senior engineers to projects the source sql statement can also be modified after adding records to the table open the table in design view modify the sql statement to include only engineers run and verify the results save the query save and open the table display values for all the employees other than engineers are changed to the bound values the source for retrieving the display values is the records returned from the row source sql statement since we changed the sql to retrieve only engineers access does not find the display values for other employees already existing in the field so bound values employee ids are displayed if there is more than one column in the drop down list only the value in the first column is displayed in the field for example only sam in the first column is displayed if you want to use the data from multiple columns to be displayed in the field you can do that by using an expression in the query open the table in design view modify the sql statement click in the first name field and concatenate first name and last name delete last name run and verify the results save the query save the table and open projects now first name and last name are displayed in the assign to field To download example access file please click on the link in the description if you like this video please subscribe to our channel